a basic VCR given to me. This one says doesn't work on a sticker stuck on top of it. So let's see why it doesn't work and uh, whether we can make this one work. As I say, this is mine. I got no real interest in fixing it other than I want something to do. I have this VCR given to me. It's a forehead Panasonic on Omnivision. And it's just a mono piece of crap, so um, we'll see what this we'll see whether this one's fixable. It says August 2021, no load. So the guy that gave it to me already, I guess, took a look at it and decided he was gonna just chuck it. So we'll see whether I can fix this thing and uh, get it running. Okay, what's going on? Let's try putting in a tape and see what happens. Looks like it loads to me. Does it play? No, it does not play. We'll clean the heads on this unit. See whether it's just the heads are dirty. Okay, clean the heads. Still doesn't look very good, does it? A little bit of dirt on here, but not a lot. Let's check it out and see if it plays. It sure, sure looked like dirty heads there. I just cleaned the heads again. Let's just see whether we get anything different happening this time. So, what's in it for you? Well, you as tested can take advantage of this special value offering. Prizes. Well, it doesn't look very good, does it? Sales of the Lifestyle 8 and 3 of these Lifestyle Home hmm. Theater systems. Oh, there's no tape. It doesn't seem like there's very much tension on this tape at all. That looks way too loose. That, that looks way too loose. Oh, that's better. But the tension arm is, is in place. That doesn't look good. Look, look at this. Looks like we have a back tension problem on this unit. Let's uh, get a close look at the uh, back tension. I think we see the problem already. Where's the felt pad? I do believe this unit is supposed to have a felt pad but it appears to be missing. I wonder if it's inside the unit somewhere. I do believe that's the felt pad for the brake. It attaches to this arm. The question is, how am I going to reattach that? I guess I have to take the mechanism apart and take the arm off to do that. Let's, uh, let's do that. The front panel comes off this first. screws through here and a couple more screws in the back. I got to take out these red screws. So this one. Okay. 
on this one. And this one over here. And then there's two more that go down through the cassette. And that should allow me to lift the chassis out and hopefully uh, I'm able to get into the bottom, take that uh, gear out or take that, that lever out because I think it'll be a lot easier to try and reattach. I guess I'm going to probably have to glue it in place unless it's just fallen off if, it, if it's glued down. I've never been into one of these mechanisms before, so this is a new experience for me, this one. I don't know what year this one came out, but I don't ever recall seeing one. It's got a mode switch. We'll clean that while we're at it. Uh, what chassis is this thing? Oh, yeah, one of these ones. Very simple, but um, judging the fact that I've never really seen too many of them, I guess they're pretty reliable. I think this is what holds the, uh, the this is what holds the the um, back tension in place. This this lever here, so that pops out just like that. There it is. There's the back tension lever, and where is this thing? How does it fit on here? Hmm. Get a close up. little plastic clips on here okay it doesn't look like they're broken the catches it must have just fallen off interesting that fits on well sort of like this does not appear to be broken. That fits on like that and I guess the other side goes in behind this like that and is that what holds it in place? I think that's it. That's what holds that back tension band in place. It just sits on there's two little clips. There's one little one little clip there, another one here and it sits in behind this, uh, this little keeper. So I guess it popped out and fell out and dropped into the bottom of the chassis. Oh, this is a nice easy chassis to work on. I like these easy chassis to work on. And then this piece just fits back in. So it goes in just like this, I think. Should have paid attention when I was taking it apart. Oh, this piece will drop down through there for sure. There, I think that's it. It goes in just like that. Wow, what a simple chassis. Like it. Like it. Oh, made in Indonesia. The motor came from Indonesia. One belt. It's a forehead. Looks like forehead. Forehead mono machine. And if we work the mechanism through by hand, uh, release the catch. And that'll go down like that. If I turn the uh, loading motor. bad. A lot of plastic. The guides are pushed in place by springs. I've never seen that done before. 
usually there's there's solid linkage, but here we, these just have springs that push the guides forward. Interesting. Wind this back, you'll see. I'm just watching the operation of the back tension lever over here. See, it's actually it's 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 um, it's brought back by the guide. The guide actually makes contact with it and pulls it back, as you can see right here. Okay, that part seems to be okay. Let's uh, clean up this mode switch while we're at it, because you know it, you know that it's going to need to be cleaned. You should be able to just pop it apart just like that. That actually doesn't look to be too bad, but we'll, we'll clean it. Get some deoxid in there. is it in? should be like that. should be an alignment mark right up here somewhere. Oh yeah, there it is. There's a little dot right there on the edge and that arrow points towards it, which will have this keyway facing fully forward, which if we look on the bottom of the chassis here, you can see the keyway. It's on the sides facing towards the capsule motor. So that way when I drop the mechanism back in, it should line up. I must say, this is a nice chassis, nice simple. It's got these gears that I'm sure that are going to break though. The yellow, they're yellow and they used to be white but they're turning yellow. But this was a, a dirt cheap machine, I'm pretty sure when it was sold. Because all VCRs got to be very, very inexpensive. In the end there, when they were just becoming a, a throwaway disposable device that uh, nobody fixed. The one with the lock washer goes down onto the board. This grounds the chassis to the circuit board. And I gotta push this mechanism through a bit so I can put these last two screws in. I guess I can power it up like this and see whether it works. Power switch over here. tension on here. Still too low this tension. Hmm. Okay, I guess I have to uh, see what I did wrong. Tension armor is pulling into place, but um, there's no tension. What is holding this up? What did I miss? It's 
not moving this arm. That's what I missed. is in position incorrectly. Oh, geez, I see it right here. I did not push that tab down where it goes all the way down. I guess I gotta take it apart a second time. That will never do. It looked okay when I was running it through its paces uh, when I had it apart, but uh, there's a little tab that's sitting up too high. It's causing this to jump out of the track. I'm a noob on this, this chassis. I've never taken one of these ones apart. Give me a nice complicated chassis and I'll never have a problem with it. Give me a simple, one of these simple ones and I mess up just like everybody else. Okay, where was that? Uh, that was uh, this piece right over here. How is it not sitting down? Let's just release it again and make sure that we get it through. Oh, you know what? I think it has to go in, in this side first. That's where I messed up. I've got to put it underneath here first. Turn it in like that. And now it should drop into place. Paces again before I put it back together. Make sure that this actually engages with the. Uh, there, that's looking better. Now the uh, felt pad's actually making contact. It'll probably be smoother when it. Yeah, smoother when it unloads too. Okay, we'll try this again. See if I have any better luck this time. Now we have proper tension. More. Yeah, now it's playing. That's looking a little better. You can earn up to a total of three American Express gift checks. Plus, if your store participates in the Frequent Sellers program, try my tape, and then I'll put this thing together. As I say, this is my machine, so I don't really have a need for a, a regular standard VHS machine. That's interference from the plasma, that, you see. But when I put the top cover on, which I'll do now, let me just put the front case on it first. We'll put the top on and that, those lines should go away. Oops. 
always make sure you've got the, the catch in place before ejecting the tape, I say. Otherwise, you could have a, a jammed tape experience like I just had. cover. We'll see how this thing uh, looks once I get the, the screws in place which will ground the top cover and should shield it from interference from the plasma screen. Observe as I tighten in the ground screw that holds the base on. There, problem solved. No more interference. back screws and this one is done simple problem back tension band fell off I figured it would be inside the chassis because unless someone got into it where's it gonna go right it's not gonna fall out so there we go nice easy fix thanks for watching we'll catch you later bye